how our RFID system will work. The RFID tag right here, that's a good, will be attached together with social distancing alarm right here. Uh, and it's this the smart device. And this RFID reader will be put at the entrance station to collect the data. So, as you can see here, I take my smart device that contains the social dis distancing alarm and also the RFID tag. If I scan right through the, the RFID reader, and this the data will be automatically directed to the database, which is database that we are using is the Microsoft Excel. And it will record the data, time, and the RFID unique ID, uh, which is different from every other tag. For example, as you can see here, this is another tag. If I scan here, then we can see it is also another RFID UID, which is unique to one another. This is uh, is programmed by the manufacturer actually. Uh, so in real life, the data and the tag, like the RFID UID right here, it can be very um, like. It could be varied into any other thing. It can, it can be the name, contact number for the contact uh, tracing purposes to combat COVID-19. That's all for me. Hi, my name is Kang Xinjing and I'm going to explain this COVID-19 entrance checkpoint. At the checkpoint, there will be two 5-bit synchronous up counter, one at the entrance while the other one is at the exit. To calculate the total people on board, we are going to find the difference between people coming in and going out through the checkpoint. Therefore, we will connect the input of the counter at the entrance and the negative output of the counter to an adder. The output of this adder will be the total people on board on the vehicle. To show how many seats are still available, we are going to minus the total people on board from the maximum capacity. In this case, it's 15. Then, the output is then connected to a 7 segment display to show how many seats are still available. To let the other passenger to get the information more easier, there are also a few LED are being set up. First, a blue LED will light up when the temperature measured is less than 37.5 and there are still seats available. This blue LED indicates that uh, the person is allowed to go inside the vehicle. When the seats available is zero, in this case, the orange LED will light up. When the temperature measured is higher than 37.5, therefore the red LED will light up. Lastly, there are also a yellow LED being set up to indicate error of this circuit. Uh, since the capacity limit is 15 people, when more than 15 people are being counted, then the circuit is required to be reset manually, like this. It will show a LED, yellow LED light that shows error. In conclusion, the objective of our mini project is to limit the total people boarding a public transport at a time and do a social distancing inside the public transport. With this mini project, we hope that we can reduce the risk of spreading COVID-19 and help government. That's all. Thank you.